I don't, I don't understand. I really don't. Oh, 35 man. years old and you're still scared of a little thunder. I am not. <laughs> thunder buddies for life, right, Johnny? You're fucking right. All right, come on, let's sing the thunder song. All right. When, when you, you hear, hear the, the sound, sound of... Let's see, the creator of Peter and Stewie Griffin takes a big shot at the big screen. Hello there to audiences of the internet. I am movie critic Nick Yakabuchi, as always for the website realscreenreviews.com, and our next movie review is Ted. This comedy will open on June 29th, 2012. This is an early review. Ted stars Marky Mark, Mila Kunis, and Giovanna Ribisi. This feature comes to us from triple threat writer, director, star Seth MacFarlane, the very successful creator of The Family Guy and American Dad. Mr. MacFarlane now gets his first shot at a Hollywood feature and has more than a fair amount of respectable talent to make it work. This tale tells of a man and his teddy bear. That is to say that his childhood toy comes to life as a consequence of a wish that he made from a very young age. Ted is the appropriately named teddy bear that mixes live action and computer animated imagery. It is also noteworthy to mention that creator Seth MacFarlane will be voicing the foul-mouthed, pot-smoking child's toy come to life. Well, people, there are some films where my review is pretty much based on technical accomplishments and or achievements. Off the top of my head, I would say that both Disney's Brave and Prometheus fall into that category, and that is how those films needed to be reviewed, technically. Then you have a movie like Ted, and the last thing that I'm going to do is stand here and talk about the cinematography, the art direction, or the set design. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a poorly constructed film, but those are definitely not what people want to hear when it comes to Ted. People are going to want to read or watch reviews because they want to know whether or not this movie was funny or whether it wasn't funny. Well, people, not only is this movie funny, this is actually one of the funniest films that I have ever seen. Now let me just get to the brilliance known as Seth MacFarlane's imagination. Here he seems to craft a real story and then infuse it with his trademark humor and satire. Mr. McFarlane and I are right around the same age and every one of his pop culture references to the 1980s was a welcome treat, not to mention his spot on talent for comedic timing. This guy never ceases to amaze me by not only pushing the bounds of what is tasteful and what is not, but also by his talent of throwing relentless jokes the entire running time. I cannot help but to compare him to the genius of Zucker, Abrams, and Zucker with his determination and persistent use of humor, whether it's R-rated or not. Now, Marky Mark was a great choice to headline this film, and his ability was perfectly split between the romantic love interest and the vulgar Ted. In my opinion, Marky Mark gets a little better with every movie that I see him in, and this one is no different. He doesn't allow the over-the-top furball to steal the film from under him, and that's because he anchors himself as the film and the audience's point of sympathy. Without him, there's really not much to root for, and he more than carries that burden along with delivering solid comedy all his own. Something else that I enjoyed about Ted was that, given the rude and crudity of the entire feature, there were actually moments of true romance and ethical behavior. The addition of Mila Kunis was a must because without her, Ted would have fallen into a one-dimensional trap. She brings range to the table and balances the story instead of it becoming a montage of non-stop vulgarity. McFarlane, also to my surprise, manages to infuse at least some doses of morality here and there. And throughout the shocking and mature comedy, the filmmakers were still able to put in a bunch of regular, normal, and clean humor. Now to everyone out there, please be forewarned that Ted does not have adult situations and adult language. It has mountains of drug use, skin, and mature content. Like most R-rated comedies and most projects by Seth MacFarlane, this film pushes the envelope as far as it possibly can. Also, to those that are going to see this film that believe that a teddy bear is a treasured and untouchable part of the innocence of childhood, well all I can say is save your ten bucks. MacFarlane holds no punches exploiting this icon of children everywhere, and I think that he actually enjoys doing it. Now that I think of it, I must contradict myself because there actually is something technically worth complimenting. The CGI and special effects that bring Ted to life are not only quality, they are well above average. It is almost flawless how he moves and interacts with the live actors, and after only about 15 or 20 minutes, you just begin to accept him as part of the cast. Not since Eddie Valiant interacted with Roger Rabbit so fluidly do I remember an inanimate object being brought to such a vivid life with flesh and blood performers. You know, so he sounds like Peter Griffin. Get over it, people. At right around one hour and 45 minutes, Ted was nothing short of balls to the wall funny and my stomach actually hurt from laughing that much. 
To anyone out there that are fans of The Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane, or just raunchy humor in general, this is a must-see, maybe even more than once. I don't know what else to say, but if you want to laugh, and I mean stomp your feet laughing, then please make it a point to see this film. Once again, I am a bachelor in my 30s with no kids and I was not offended in the least. However, I would be lying if I did not say that there is much in this film to offend people and the filmmakers will bend over backwards to try and do so. This movie is just great and without question it's one of the highlights of my summer. You know, I have seen four movies this week and every one of them was exceptional or above average. This has to be the best week that I have had since I started reviewing movies a couple of years ago. Nick's Real Screen Review is a perfect four stars out of four, and that's for Seth MacFarlane's first foray into the realm of feature films with Ted. And remember people, I'm not always right, but only when it comes to the movies, and thank you for your attention. Wait, I'm gonna rattle off some names when I hit you it, so I can buzz it, okay? I will tell you. You got me? Yeah. All right, Brandy, Heather, Channing, Brianna, Amber, Sabrina, Melody, Dakota, Sierra, Bambi, Crystal.